Well, the country of Saudi Arabia has been very present in the world of video games and entertainment in the 2020s, and that really was something that was unheard of since, well, the 2020s. Yeah, basically Saudi Arabia has something called Project 2030 or Saudi Vision 2030. Now, this is something they launched eight years ago in 2016, and basically this is a part of a broader plan for them to diversify their investments, their resources, their economy, their revenue, and I believe the whole thing centers around like the year 2030, so six years from now they want to be at a certain spot. And a lot of this is because they want to reduce their reliance on oil. So a big part of this, like I said, is a really heavy investment in video games, tech, and entertainment really in just the last two or three years now. Actually, I should say four because in December of 2020, Saudi Arabia invested three billion dollars amongst a lot of different big video game companies like Activision and Rockstar. They also just hosted that esports Sports World Cup. I think that was just like a month or two ago. That was pretty successful. And they're actually hosting an upcoming Overwatch tournament as well. Yeah, Saudi Arabia has really gained an impressive identity in the world of video games. It's it's really crazy because like I said, this was kind of unheard of, say, 10 years ago. Now, I knew all of that, but I actually didn't know that Saudi Arabia had an interest or even an investment in Nintendo. Yeah, would you believe me if I told you that Saudi Arabia has an 8.58% stake in Nintendo right now? Yeah, they actually invested about 5% in 2022, and then since then, in the past two or three years now, they've upped it to about 8.5%. Well, it turns out Saudi Arabia is actually heavily considering investing even more in Nintendo, having even larger of a stake in the company. Yeah, so basically the organization behind Saudi Arabia's investment is called the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, or PIF. And so the PIF's vice chair actually just had an interview with a big news agency in Japan called Kyoto News, and during this interview, he he actually confirmed that, yes, yeah, Saudi Arabia is definitely considering investing more in Nintendo. Now, he did add that they are not planning on rushing into this. He is saying that they want to take this as a sort of slower, more cautious process. But the point is definitely made. Saudi Arabia is really considering doing this. It's crazy because before today, I, yeah, I didn't even know that Saudi Arabia owned anything in Nintendo or was really interested in Nintendo at all in terms of a means of investment. But now I've learned that not only do they own 8.5% of the stake of Nintendo, but that number could very much increase to 10% or even more of Nintendo in maybe just a, a few months or maybe a year from now. Yeah, Saudi Arabia, like I said, they own stake now in Activision, Rockstar, even Capcom. Like I said, the whole goal of Saudi Arabia's Project 2030 is to strongly diversify their income and their investments, and it's very clear they are making that happen with video games. I think video games are very clearly a strong investment. These big companies are only going to get more valuable. Their shares are going to increase. In the long run, I really think an investment into a big tech or big video game company will pay off. And Nintendo is no different. Obviously, Nintendo is, well, it's a very great video game company. A lot of people love it. And Saudi Arabia sees this as well. It, it could be very soon, actually, that Saudi Arabia increases their investment and owns like one-tenth or more of Nintendo.